All you hear about nowadays is cutbacks and drawdowns. Soldiers being cut a check to get the fuck out. No tolerance for anything. Shut your pants. It's destruction of army property. Here's your chapter. It sounds great, right? It should mean that army will be smaller, with less shit bags. Well, you and me both know that isn't the case. What this means is they're going to not let one high speed defender of freedom re enlist so the army can retain five fat bodies and our non deployables. You know, the motherfuckers who always seem to be on profile as you're about to deploy to slay Taliban Fox. The higher leadership of the army is in a state of mass confusion on the cutbacks and drawdowns. I hear about it all the time whether it's from the Army Times which is the gossip magazine of the military, or from a pissed off first sergeant that can't re-enlist a high speed due to no sluts at that rank. Well, prepare to have your mind exploded by a jdam of common sense. Every morning at PT, I ponder to myself how the army can pull off this sequestration and still be a fit fighting army. As I pass running formation barely moving at walking pace, or as I see dudes doing the APFT walk I know that I have found the answer. Let me just throw this crazy idea in the what if universe. What if? We just booted every fat, non-deployable, permanent profile, set in car during PT hours piece of shit, every morning I witness these cancers that plague the army. Now before I continue let me clear the air. I'm not talking combat wounded guys and gals. I'm talking mostly about these slick sleeve cocksuckers that have been us for 10 years but somehow have skipped out on every deployment since the global war of terrorism kicked off. How is that even fucking possible? You joined the army to take it to the fucktards who threaten the American fucking way of life. While you're downrange bobbing and weaving between bullets and IEDs like Adrian Peterson, these cocksuckers were at home loving life. Chilling with their families, showing up for accountability and what not. Fuck these people, and what's up with these obese motherfuckers in uniform? You know, the ones you stop and think and sometimes say wow that dude is fucking fat. He's not allowed to run because his knees would die from trauma. You want a cut back of spending, cut the sling load. Put these sons of bitches out on their asses. No benefits, no nothing. Yup you heard me no benefits to non-deployables. They don't need it. They are not in danger. They are not serving their country. They are leeches sucking the life out of a great organization and country politics aside. Many of you may see me as a diabolical asshole, but remember some way somehow these fat body non-deployables are affecting your career.